1968, we were in the middle of the Vietnam War. We were in the middle of both the civil rights movement and chaos in the cities. And in the midst of all this, the Yale Summer High School is assembling to talk about the human condition and about race and about who they are. When Larry Paris came on as director in 1967, the situation in the country had changed considerably, and we were mutually committed to designing an educational program that would address the issues of these kids and allow them to grapple with them. It must have just occurred to us, why not put together the literature of the great books and the problem of race in America and come up with a curriculum that really addresses what's going on in the world around us. Even in 1968, race, for the most part, still was a taboo subject. You get in a mixed company and you don't talk about it. I kind of identified with the blacks to a large degree. Poverty and no hope. I'm sure they saw me as just a Midwestern dork, you know, but I didn't care as long as they didn't think that, uh, that I was racist or anything. As Larry Paris found out, if you try to deal with the really hot issues of the day that touch people most deeply, people get excited. And that particular kind of excitement isn't welcome in most schools. The critique of the Yale Summer High School was that it was messy, that it was kind of anarchic in style, and that didn't fit this very narrow mission, which was to produce 1,000 male leaders a year. If you questioned that definition of leadership, or you perceived yourself outside of that in some way, that wasn't what the Yale administration really wanted. The energy of the summer high school in 68 was no way in the world like that of other schools. It was all over the place. There was a hot environment for me intellectually. I, I mean, I didn't even know I had intellect at the time. See, my classroom experience, the last thing in the world I would be thinking about when I went home was what information I had gotten at school that day. So that was the first time that I can remember ever really enjoying learning. 